So, this is how you grease your Razer XP1000 wool bearings. You are gonna need a specialty tool. It's a, it's a wheel bearing greaser. You can find these on Amazon. I paid 25 bucks for this and it actually ended up coming with the Can-Am one as well. The Can-Am is gonna be a 40 millimeter and the Players is gonna be a 44. Pretty sure this works for all your basic razors. And if you're wondering how this greaser works, I have an old bearing of mine. It just slides right in there. And there's an inner, not even a race. I don't know what you would call that, a groove. And how it works is you will pump grease into this grease cert. And there's a little hole right there. I don't know how well you can see it. That's where the grease will come out and it'll start squeezing out along the inside of this ring. And this ring lines up with this one on the bearing. It'll pump grease in through there and spread it through the bearing. And these two O-rings keep the grease from blowing outside, so. I hope I explained that well enough. If you still don't understand, I, I... I really don't know what to tell you. Players doesn't necessarily recommend you to grease your bearings. They actually mention that nowhere at all in the owner's manual, but it's not that bad of an idea to just go ahead and grease them. Especially if you're riding in much harsher environments like I do. I do a lot of deep water and, and uh, sand, so it tends to get inside those bearings and eat them up. In fact, here's what's left of the bearing that I just replaced. As you see, the whole inner side is gone. As soon as I took the hub off, it just fell apart. And that's because I wasn't greasing them. This is actually a pretty straightforward process. Uh, you're gonna wanna start by getting the wheel up off the ground and taking off. To be able to access your wheel bearing, you're gonna wanna take this hub off. Uh, before you can do that, your brake caliper needs to be removed. In order to do that, there's two 15 millimeter bolts, one right there and one right here. And this gives me the perfect opportunity to try out my brand new 3 8 impact drive, compact impact, whatever. And after that, you just rip your brake caliper off. If I can get it off. Set it out of the way for now. And now there should be a cotter pin on yours. You're gonna wanna take that cotter pin out. Pretty easy. I use an inch and a sixteenth uh, socket to break this axle nut loose. I'm not sure if it's the correct one. It seems to fit. It's a little loose, but it's never done me wrong. I was gonna use my half inch impact, but I wanted to see if my new 3 8 compact impact is able to rip this nut off. So I have my adapter, 3 8 to half inch adapter. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on my socket. So place your bets now. Do you think it can take it off? Yeah, I don't know if that was tight. <laughs> it's kind of scary. And after that, you're hub should be able to slide off. And after that, you're gonna take your wheel bearing greaser and just slide it on over the axle and into the bearing. I'm not too sure how well you can see it, but you, but right around here, you can see the grease starting to seep out. So that tells you it's full. Go ahead and just rip it out. Set it somewhere where you won't get grease everywhere. Try not to get any of the grease on your actual brake rotor because, um, well, you're not gonna be able to stop that. Don't forget your washer. And obviously, put back on your brake caliper. Well, and then after you've done all that, of course, throw your wheel back on. and go ahead and repeat those steps for the other side.
Well, as y'all saw, it's a pretty simple process, to be honest. Uh, maybe it took me half an hour and I was even dealing with the camera stuff. Cool, so I'm glad that's done. That's gonna be the end of this video. If y'all have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And if you like this video, please like, subscribe, helps. And uh, yeah, y'all take care.